I think it's obvious um, that Zahawi can't stay as Tory party chair. The very idea um, that he can be discussing and negotiating his own tax affairs with the body that he's supposed to be running. Uh, everybody knows it's wrong. He clearly isn't going to resign, and so the Prime Minister needs to show some leadership. This is a test of the Prime Minister. He promised us his first words, integrity and accountability. Well, if those words mean anything, the Prime Minister should sack him and sack him today and show some leadership, because if he doesn't, it's just going to be further evidence, I think, for the British public as to just how weak this Prime Minister really is. Well, where is this going to end, though? I mean, are Labour now saying that top politicians should release their tax returns? I mean, is that something you'd expect the Shadow Cabinet to do, for example? Well, look, I mean, it, the issue is not uh, whether Zahawi is releasing his tax returns to the public. The issue is whether uh, they were accurate when he filled them in. Beginning to see uh, the answer to that question. So this is all about um, what was actually in his uh, returns. The Prime Minister knows this. The Prime Minister knows that his position as, as chair of the party is untenable. The Prime Minister promised us integrity and accountability. He needs to show some leadership and sack him. And if he doesn't, then that, in my view, is a strong failure of leadership. Just quickly, are you going to ask an urgent question on this in Parliament today? Well, there will be Parliament procedures um, today, no doubt, but, um, you know, this is really a question for the Prime Minister. You know, what I would say to the Prime Minister is, show some leadership. If this was somebody in my team, I would sack them. Uh, this is really now much more a question for the Prime Minister than for anybody else on this issue. OK, just two final questions. First of all, on another chairman, that is of the BBC. Again, another investigation taking place today. Are you, are you saying that how the chairman of the BBC is appointed should not be taken out of the hands of the Prime Minister? Well, there's clearly serious questions to answer here, aren't there, in terms of the connection, the discussions and what went on. It's right that it's being looked at um, and we need to get to the bottom of this as quickly as possible. But I think for many people this morning who are struggling with their bills, struggling with their jobs, struggling with all of the pressures that come about because of 13 years of failure, they'll be looking at a government saying, what have we got? We've got scandal story after scandal story. What they want is a government that's delivering, and they haven't got that.